Car Retro Reviews, we're back. A little delay, had a virus in our computer, we had to clean it out. Trying to mod the PSP we got uh, last week, so we are back and uh, we got it professionally serviced. So thank God we're back. Anyway, what we did this weekend, we just wanted to go on a hunt and go around to several different locations. One of the locations we went to was Video Games New York. We stopped by yesterday. Uh, slim pickings this week. Mm -hmm. Slim pickings over there this week. So today what we did is we got up early and we started going around and we stopped in at one of our friends who has who regularly has a garage sale Martel. here. His name is Martel. He, he normally has a garage sale every Sunday morning and um, we caught, caught up with him today. So this is a shout out to my buddy Martel. Um, always has uh, some things and he's always nice enough to put stuff on the side for us. Mm -hmm. Which is very nice of him. Anyway, we're just going to go do, today's just brief real quick. Uh, just want to make sure we do something out there. We had a couple of pickups this weekend, so we're just going to discuss what we got. Uh, so I'm going to make it very brief and very quick. Um, a lot of you might know what this is. I may not know what this is, but it's definitely retro. This is... Yeah, you're, oh. <laughs> VCR tape rewinder. A VCR tape rewinder. Yes, I still do have VCR tapes. You cannot be retro without having VHS or VCR tapes. Okay, so we have that. Very nice. We picked up a couple of games this week. We have Dead to Rights Retribution for the PS3. Looks like somebody had it and put it in a, uh, a bigger case, like a PS2 case. But there it is right there. So we're definitely going to be playing that. We also, I also picked up this game right here called Sherlock Holmes. Uh, the Testament of Sherlock Holmes. It's a PS3 game, uh, probably a mystery solve solving game. I've never played it before, but I'm definitely going to give it a shot, see what that's about. I like those kind of games. She thinks it's boring. I like things that you have to really think. Well, yeah, well, anyway. Um, I've been looking for this for some time. We've had the Wii Sports Part 2, I think it was, resort. or the Resort one. We never had this one for some apparent reason, because when we got our Wii, we never got this with it. Well, anyway, we finally have our own Wii Sports. Oh, cool. So, yeah, see, she didn't even notice. Didn't even I noticed. Notice. See, I picked that up today. One of the games I've always wanted to play. I played it before, but I never actually owned it, which is the actual Ninja Gaiden game that came out for the Xbox. Hard! Xbox. <laughs> but I'm definitely interested in playing this. I enjoyed it before, and I love the fact that it's Ryu Hayabusa, who is the, still the main protagonist in this game. So I'm definitely going to go with that. Then, of course, everybody knows that here in Rod Scar Retro Reviews, we like our accessories. Well, here we got uh, the official Wii Zapper for the Wii in box, as you can see. Pretty awesome. Martel's awesome. He gets stuff and he takes care of his things and he puts them on the side for Rod Squad Retro Reviews. So, really appreciate it. As you can see, it's in there. Everything is in there. Good stuff. So, we have that. We have, I've never been into the Guitar Hero fad. I always considered it a fad. I've never been into it. My daughter Lexi has. She has played it before. She's played it with the Wii. I'm not a big fan of it, but you know what? I couldn't say no to this. Hey, that's Five trash. bucks. Five bucks in the box. The sad part is I don't even have. <laughs> I don't even have a Guitar Hero game for the Xbox 360. From Guns and Roses. Slash the Slash version. No and slash. Inbox, whatever his name. <laughs> inbox, awesome. Definitely gonna get me one of those games now and try this out. Once we do that, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna make a video of it and have everybody watch us make fools of ourselves. Huh. That's okay though. That's okay. I live to look like a mini. I mean, I live to look good. You didn't hear we that. also got this. Uh, picked up, I picked up a Metro Prime 2 Echoes last week from Brooklyn Video Games in our previous video. But here I just couldn't say no to seeing another one, a dollar. A dollar, man, if I would have waited. But it is what it is. I picked it up and I picked it up from my boy Jay. Because he has, he's a collector also and he has quite a few systems himself. And that's where we have that. Now, also, look what I found. Look what he got for me. The official Xbox 360 wheel with the pedals and all I'll bring it up here for you so you can look at it real good with the pedals and all looks like it has a phone jack i have no experience with this i'm trying to see exactly how you connect it i'm going to have to look it up but it's the official merchandise of microsoft so it's not a uh, it's not a, another company version it's the xbox version itself so i'm going to figure out how we work that now before i move any further she picked up uh she like <laughs> commando. She has commando. She found it. A buck. Martel again. Good stuff. We also got a uh, 
a night pod docking station that she picked up that she's uh, hooking up right a now. A Logitech. A Logitech one. Now this is real quick, I'm gonna throw this. This is not something that I picked up this week. This was something that was uh, donated to the Rod Squad Retro Collection from one of my buddies, Alex Herrera. Alex, is a shout out to you. Alex was kind enough to give me a call while I was at work. And Alex, me and Alex used to work together, but he moved on. But he gave me a call, did not forget about me, and uh, asked me if I was interested in having some of the PS2 games that he was just going to get rid of. He did, didn't have any interest in them, found them in his closet. It was very nice of him. So Alex, nice I want to give you a, ni a nice shout out. Another, Some more collection here to the Rod Squad Retro Reviews. Just brief, SOCOM 2, Dead to Rights, The Fantastic Four, SOCOM 1, Midnight Club 2, uh, Backyard Baseball, SpongeBob, Battle Bikini Bottom, NBA 2K7, uh, Star Wars Episode 3, MI, Mission Impossible, of course, uh, MLB 206, Virtual Fighter 4, one of my personal favorites, I'll be honest with you with that. Uh, here we got Extreme Racer Zero, Spider Man is all PS2 games, then we have SmackDown, Just Bring It, and Shut Your Mouth. So, just want to give a shout out to Alex for donating this to the collection, I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, we might get to some of these and uh, you know, get do a little video on them, but we definitely want to show the appreciation. Again, to everybody out there, thanks for being so supportive and watching our channel. We really appreciate it. Um, the views are there, so we want to definitely say thank you very much again. And one more thing, if at all, and anytime you guys run across one of these, um, one of these special little uh, knockoffs, I'm interested in them. I like to look at them. I like to give my thoughts of them because I really I, I find it interesting like the slim station that I did a, a review of a, a week or so ago so if you guys do see things like that please give us a, a you know shoot me a thing on my face pa uh, Facebook page so definitely again thank you for the support we definitely appreciate it check us check us out on our Facebook page at Rod Squad Retro Reviews you could also find us on the Retro uh, Gamers Hub which has the, N the N Nintendo Retro Gamers right Sega Retro Gamers PlayStation Retro Gamers Atari Retro Gamers any type of retro uh, pages out there on Facebook, you will find us. So, again, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time.